Okay, everybody. In this video, I'm going to show you how to copy and paste the document, the classes into a Word document, how to insert the screen shots and how to zip it and how to submit. Okay, so first of all, for, for each of your project, you must have a header. Okay, this is the header. And this is already, this is done in the programming uh, project. Uh, I, I told you about this. I'm telling you about this right here, right? This is your, for example, your chapter four project. And uh, you can just copy and paste this. And down here, you do have the grading rubric. And uh, that's how I grade you. If you don't have the header, I'm going to take two points off. So make sure you go through this. So that's the header. And uh, if you did, if there is any extra credit, make sure you do, you, you say yes. If not, just say no, okay? Uh, you must have the package, otherwise I'm going to take points off. And here is your class. So this is your, uh, oh, another thing I want to make sure you understand is you must have documentation. We discussed this. You need to document your file, okay? tell me why you have it there. You don't have to document everything, but you have to document each segment of code. Okay, so uh, your project name, make sure your project name is correct. So that means when you create the project, when you go to file and you say Java project, you have to name it so. So you have to name it chapter five, PP, your first name, your last name. Okay, that's, uh, that's the naming convention and uh, you don't have to create that. So your project have to be, has to be like that. And here I'm telling you the naming convention, that's what that means. First name, your last name. If you forgot to create uh, the correct project name, no worries, you can always change it. To change the project name, you right click on the project. Okay, right click on it, go to refactor and rename. So uh, this is, oh, okay, that doesn't matter. That's that required, that is referring to the other one. So you can change it, right? Last name, I, I just added that one thing and you can see it's changed. So, but make sure no matter what you do, create it in the first place or change it later, it has to be correct, the correct name. So that's the project name. And now let's copy. Okay, oh, another thing is your header, your, your header should always be in the class that has the driver. This is the driver, the main method. So your header should always be in the class that has the main method. Okay, now you will copy this uh, control A to select everything and control C to copy and then go to a Word document. Okay, I opened one already and just control V, right? And it's right there. Okay, that's the first class you want to put there and your first one really should be your driver and then the second one and once again, control A, control C, right? Control A is select all, control C is copy. And then you come to your Word document, control V to paste. So here is your document. And uh, then you need to insert the screenshots. That means you need to show me your program works. And that's when you will run your program. So I am going to run. Okay. Uh, when you give me the screenshots, do not give me some, sometimes students give me a whole a screen, a whole window, which is so small, I cannot read anything. And I will take points off if you do that. So make sure you give me just the execution screen, the console right here. Okay, so you can do it this way. You can uh, expand it, maximize it right here. You see, maximize it so that you have this bigger screen, right? And 
switch to your document. So just make sure these are the two, you switch control or alt tab, right? Switch alt tab. And when you switch, these are the two uh, windows. And so you come here, you go to insert and go to screenshots and go to screen clipping. And this window will show and you will give me a screen that shows the time, right? Give me the timestamp and uh, the the window. And this way, look at it, how how clear it is, right? This way, I can look at your uh, running of the program and know, yes, you run your program. Um, it's correct. Uh, and then I will run and see if mine uh, is the same as yours. Okay, that's that's the screenshot. And when I say test it completely, thoroughly, that means if you are asking for user input, for example, you should run it several times to show different sets of user input um, or uh, will, uh, your program will work on all of them, right? You, you test thoroughly to, uh, so if you test thoroughly, you should give me several screenshots, not just one. So you close it and you just run it again. Okay, run it again and maximize it if necessary. And then go there and uh, go to press enter, right? And just insert again. And go to screenshots, go to screen clipping, and then just clip it again. So this is when I say test thoroughly, you need to give me not just one, but uh, two or three or more to show it works. If it's an if else statement, for example, you should test every scenario. Give me a screenshot to show that it works. That's called testing thoroughly. And you do have, uh, you do have that, uh, that uh, grading rubric there, testing thoroughly. That's what that means. Okay, so this is how you create this document. And your document, after you finish, you will go to save as, and I'm just going to save it on my desktop and you will name it the same as your uh, project name, okay? And this is a Word document, so it doesn't conflict with your project. Did I save? <laughs> okay, I don't know, let me see. So, okay. I'm going to save it as chapter, oops, chapter four, PP, your first name and your last name. And this is a Word document. I'm saving, on, saving it on the desktop, right? Why does it do that? That's very strange. Um, um, let me stop this recording so that I can see why. Okay, um, I don't know why, but uh, when I do this, just now you saw when I save, it, it goes to my project folder. So what I did is I just added D-O-C-X to tell it this is a Word document and save, right? That way it works. Okay, so now I have saved. Um, I will go to, oh, uh, another thing you want to do is you need to, uh, so the next step actually is to, let me see, say uh, insert, I did that, let's find the project. So the next step is you need to zip your project, right? So how do you zip it? Where is it? To find out where it is, you can right click on the project name in your Eclipse and go to properties. And here you can see where it is right? It's on the C drive. And for mine, it's on the, I'm just, I'm just putting it on the desktop and that's the file. So you can go there, go to your, I will go to my desktop. Okay. This is my desktop. And then I will find uh, that file. That is uh, chapter four. This is the one, right? I did it here. So what you do is you right click on it and go to 
um, send, and then go to compress folder. And that's it. And, and that's it, just press enter. So that's the file you will submit and together with this one. So the zip file and the uh, Word document. And then you submit both files. You submit one and then attach another one. Uh, okay, that's how you do that. I will stop here.